Hi guys, I'm going to make a rubber band powered car and I bought this plastic popcorn holder because I thought that looked like a car to me. So I'm going to drill some holes in that. I also bought some plastic bowls and I'm going to stick two of them together face to face. So that will be my wheels. Well, obviously I'll stick eight of them face to face, but in pairs. I uh, need to find the centre so we can put a hole through. So I've just knocked up this uh, square, I suppose you could call it. The idea is from that point to that point will be the centre of any circle. So with two edges there, if I put something in there, then draw a line along that red line and then turn it and draw another line, I should be marking exactly where the centre is. So if I put a dot there and a dot there and join those lines together, turn it round dot there and a dot there. Right, so if I drill a hole in the middle of that lot, that should be the centre. Or as close as I'm going to get by that sort of approximation. So I'll start off with a small hole. Don't drill into the table. using barbecue skewers. Well, that might be all right. I won't drill any bigger holes. I'll leave it like that so it's nice and tight. Right, next thing, we need to drill some holes in here. should keep them all parallel. Right, nice big lump of wood so I won't accidentally drill through my fingers. I'm using the black line I've drawn and part of the white line. at this end should support themselves. I was worried about that collapsing as I pressed on it. But this end should be okay. These holes need to be a very loose fit on the barbecue skewer. Sounds like your battery's running down. Okay, 
That's the preparation work. So what I want to do, stick them together like that. Now I could glue them. What I'm going to try and do is just tape them. Right, I'm going to wrap some tape around there to hold them tight. trying to get away without having to use uh, hot glue or anything but we might need to put some on to stop the wheels sliding on the axle. Need to make sure there's a bit of a gap in there so it can slide side to side so these wheels don't rub on both sides of the bodywork at the same time. And I've just remembered, I've forgotten to drill another hole at the front there. We need another hole at the front for the rubber band to go in. some rubber bands. Right, these ones came from Poundland. Hmm. Two is probably enough, but I'll do it with three. Yeah, I think I think two is enough just as a temporary measure. I'll put that on there and tape it in place so we can adjust it if we need to. Right, rubber band over the axle holds itself in place. Right, put a bit of sticky tape on the outside of the wheels to help hold the wheels onto the axle. Wound it up again. Right, that's better. Now I've done some upgrades, I don't know if we can see, I've put little plastic tubes over the axle to space the wheels to keep them away from the bodywork, front and back. Probably can't see them but there are clear plastic tubes on there. And then I've put hot glue on the axle to hold the wheels in place, to stop them spinning round. And I've also just glued a little piece of the barbecue skewer out in a T shape so we can hook the rubber band on easier. So we'll give that a try and see if we can go a bit further. too much first of all just to check that we don't get too much wheel spin. That 
was just about 8 metres but I was just beginning to get a bit of wheel spin so you might have to put some rubber bands around the edges here to improve the grip. Rubber bands round the rims to give us some extra grip. just short of the full 8 metres. My kitchen is 5 metres and my conservatory is 3 metres. I got a little bit of a gap. But it works. I'm happy with that. Job done. <laughs>